Hi, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. I'm going to go ahead and do this video of the uh, yellow sheet cake. Now, I've, I've already done a video of it where I put orange icing on it, but what we're going to do is use it this time uh, for things like uh, strawberry shortcake or even uh, blueberry shortcake or peach anything. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and make the sheet cake and cut it in squares and freeze it. But I want to go over the recipe again. It's going to be two cups of heavy cream. Now I'm going to put the recipe right down below, okay? So two cups of heavy cream, two cups of sugar, four large eggs, three cups, and, and on the previous recipe I said white lily all-purpose flour. Now any all-purpose flour will work. This time I'm using the cake flour. It really makes a, a better uh, cake, I think, mostly. And uh, so anyway, three cups of uh, uh, flour, all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and I'm reading this off my little note here, one teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of imitation butter flavoring. Now, if you want the cake to be orange, if you want it to be lemon, if you want it to be chocolate, you can just add some uh, Hershey's cocoa to it, maybe, I don't know, about a fourth of a cup. You can make it any, any which way you want, but we're going to do it plain this time. And I also wanted to just mention this. I'm going to turn this down so y'all can see. When you're measuring the flour, you want to sift the flour first, and what I do is just sift it on a piece of wax paper, then spoon it into your cup, just spoon the flour into your cup, and then take the back straight edge of a knife and just scoot it across the top like that. Y'all see that? Just scoot it across to make sure you've got an even cup, so that would be three cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm going to add four teaspoons of baking powder right to the top of the flour because I'm going to actually sift it again. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the salt in there too. That's one teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to sift that. Now, you can get a sifter like this at Walmart. Mine happens to be one that is stainless steel. The one I had before was not stainless steel and it rusted but I've had it for about 20 years, so I guess it was okay that it rusted. But anyway, the stainless steel, of course, will not rust. I'm just banging it against my wrist to get that last little bit out. So see, it sifts all clear, all clear with no lumps. All right, so we're ready to start mixing now. I'm using my uh, KitchenAid, and what we're gonna do is dump the uh, Four large eggs in, well, I'm going to dump them in first. Four large eggs. And make sure they're large eggs. Don't use the extra large because that makes, makes the cake kind of dry. It's just regular large eggs. Two cups of granulated sugar. Dump that in. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in my flavoring. So this is one teaspoon teaspoon of imitation butter flavoring. And I actually don't put quite a full teaspoon. And two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. So now we're ready to uh, go ahead and mix this up. And I'll mix it up a little bit, then I'm going to put my whipping cream in. Mix it up just a little bit. Oh, got to plug in the mixer. And by the way, this pan is 11 by 16 by 2 inches. And I put a little bit of Crisco in the bottom of it so the parchment paper would stick to it. Then I grease the parchment paper and the sides of the pan and then dust them with flour. All right, so we're ready to just mix this up a little bit. And I'm using the uh, one that uh, whips, uh, the same one I use for the whipping cream. 
Yeah, I've got the kind that will scrape the side of the pan, but it takes a lot longer to mix this up. Right now, I'm just going to put it down on low and pour the two cups of whipping cream in there. pretty good together, so we we'll turn it up a little bit. Because it takes a little while for that uh, granulated sugar to kind of dissolve. And so we'll let this mix up for, I don't know, another couple of minutes. We'll be back. Okay, the uh, first ingredients uh, are pretty well mixed up and that uh, uh, sugar is pretty much dissolved. So I've got it on the lowest speed now I'm just going to spoon the dry ingredients in because you don't want to over mix it once you put that flour in. Just steadily putting it in a teaspoon at a, I mean a tablespoon at a time, heaping tablespoon. Now this cake makes uh, just a great way to make a strawberry shortcake. And it freezes just fantastic. In fact, when you freeze it, take it out of the uh, freezer and let it thaw out. Or either what I do is put it in the microwave for about uh, 15 seconds. And it's like you just baked it. And I think the longest I've ever kept cake like this is maybe two months. I don't think I've kept any longer than that. All right, let me see if I can dump the rest of this in. All right. Now I'll turn it up just a little bit. I'm going to scrape down the sides now. Remember, I put my eggs in first, so I don't have to worry about any flour being stuck at the bottom because the eggs went in first. All right, we're going to mix it just another few seconds. You don't see any lumps, and I don't really see any. But a few lumps wouldn't really hurt anything because they're going to dissolve. Now, the whipping cream takes the place of any butter that you would normally put in a cake or oil. All right, a little bit of that flour came off the uh, beater. All right, so we're going to dump it in the pan now and uh, we're, we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for just about 30 minutes. So we'll be back. I'm going to dump it in the pan first. So. All right, we'll be back when it gets done. All right, we just took the cake out of the oven. You just press it in. It'll spring back. So I'm going to let it cool, and then I'll be freezing the cake slices in one of these containers that we get the salad in. I'll just put wax paper in between each layer. So this should last us for a while uh, with uh, strawberry shortcake and also I like blueberry and pineapple shortcake too. And so that's it. So we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.